What's up guys? Sheer here. Uh, I got a little video for you tonight. <clears throat> and this is kind of a video response to my boy Matt. Uh, Matt Slycord. If you haven't checked him out yet, you need to get on it. <clears throat> um, he did a variations video. So I got some variations to whip through for you tonight. And uh, um, I got another couple of answers to uh, hit you guys with because a, a few people asked me, um, well, PJ mostly, but other people want to know what I use for my price guides and stuff and, what, you know, how do I get my variations and whatnot. I got this guy here, little field guide. Got, you know, different prices for some vintage stuff, <clears throat> some of the older stuff. And, you know, any of the prices in here, this stuff on card. Um, this is my Bible. Variations, 4th edition. Still waiting for number 5 to come out. And believe it or not, I put tabs on mine so I could jump right to the year. You know what I mean? Like if you want to go, you know, all the way. Because this one only covers from uh, 88 to 98. Or 88 to 2008. 89 to... Man, I'm going to get it right. 89 to 2008. I know a lot of you guys got this. But uh, this is a very helpful guy. So, um, I wanted to let you know about that one. And I found this one for Matchbox. This one is considerably harder to read as far as going back and forth because you have to know the number on the bottom of the car. Um, and, of course, you know, I'm, I don't collect them to resell them or anything. Uh, I collect them to trade to you guys and, and keep the ones I like. But um, I do like to look for rare castings and variations and stuff. And um, this one isn't quite as in-depth as the uh, Hot Wheels one, but still pretty cool. So, and uh, Marty, I think I, I'm, I'm hunting down my pro stock car, you know what I mean, like for my stock racing with you, but I don't know. So anyway, this is a video response for variations, and I'm going to show you guys some of my variations. I, I tripped over my whole box of um, um, blue, a lot of blue and whites, so let's get going. Here's a couple. 1995 but most of these are all blue and white cards this one there you got a five spot spot uh, wheel and you got a three spoke now the one up top the this one here is worth considerably more money you know what i mean but of course you know you guys know i love my love my uh ferrari so it's i don't do any of this for the money but <clears throat> and here's another variation how about a camaro convertible Five spoke, three spoke, same car, same interior. Um, you notice one has the yellow logo on the on the uh, butt there. That one's missing. Same car, same cards. So, some pretty cool variations. Um, here's one that's a hard one to get. You guys, this this kind of falls under the category of uh, of a rare bird. This one books for about thirty bucks. I keep finding these for a dollar to three dollars. I gave one to Matt. Um, you know, of course I'll keep mine on card. Um, if I ever find another one, I'll rip it and put it in with my collection. But, uh, that's a pretty hard one to get. That's from, uh, 96. Um, here's a first edition. I guess I got a few first editions in here to show you too, as far as variations. That's pretty cool. Mustang. I know they make this in a different wheel variation too. Here's a variation. I thought I had a good one. This is the Bad Mudder, and yeah, this is the first edition, 98 first edition, but now if you look, see how there's a black stripe going down between the Ford symbol and up across the back there? To give you an idea uh, how much of a variation is a big deal, if that whole stripe on the side was blue instead of just black, this thing would be worth 80 bucks. In this state right here with the black down the middle, it's only worth $3.00. So sometimes variations, they mean a lot, you know what I mean? Here's a couple of variations from the Hot Tub series. The uh, Quad Racer, there's one with CT. Basically the same, but the, I believe the one up top is worth more money. But still pretty cool. Pretty nice variation. Uh, I just happened to find this sitting with it. Here's another one of the Hot Tub series. The uh, Vampire with the uh, lace. And I believe they make this with gold lace wheels on it. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? I, of course, I didn't do the research 100% for you guys. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not going to give you bad information or whatever. 
So uh, if I would have sat down here and looked through my Bible, I could have given you better information. I have one of these in a real rider because they put them out in real rider. And this is a 95. They're both from 95. And believe it or not, this one, not only is it two different variations. Let's see the BMW N1 on here. Same car, right? One's in mint, one's in, in gray. But now here, check this out. Card's the same, right? But look. Boom, it's called a Street Beast. Number 473 and number 473. So there's a variation of color and the card variation. That's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. That I guess they decided midway through the year to, to change the name or something. I, I couldn't tell you which one is worth more. Probably the one with the Street Beast. Here is a 96 First Edition Street Cleaver. With three spokes. So you can see the 98 first edition. There's one of the five hole. I know the five hole one is worth more money than the uh, three slot, but it's still nice to have both of them, and they are first editions. So I do, you know, I'm not a huge um, first edition guy, but I have a few. You know what I mean? Like, and then you know, a lot of the older cats. Well, let's do this one first. They collect um, series runs. So I have some series runs. Here you go. Here's uh, one from '95, Peugeot, 405. Peugeot 405 two different uh, versions pretty cool both from the same year card number what is that 467 467 so there's some cool variations and now these are a lot older you know you, you guys see the new you know back and forth color waves on the newer ones um, so you know let's see what we got here um, I think these are both the same year 95 and 96 okay so there's two different years of the cop cars you guys know i love me some cop car look at that one auto city police there's the card there's the card they look almost the same but they're different years one's you know one's got the new logo on it there's uh the, what were these they're not speed points but uh look for hot wheels race car on tv <laughs> So that's pretty cool. And here's two to the Racing Metal Series. Uh, car number one and car number two. Uh, Byway Man. Is that what it's on listed on here? Seeing it on there, it's a race truck. But technically, it's a Byway Man. You know what I mean? It's a version of it. Yellow on the front, Hot Wheels. Is that what it says, Hot Wheels? Yeah. I see Hot Wheels on the front. Chevrolet logo, chrome. Uh, what are those CT wheels? I think I don't know. I, I you know I'm never 100% on the wheels. Um, here's a ramp truck, and this is a metal body, metal base, plastic ramp. Pretty cool. I love the older ones. You know what I mean? They're nice and heavy. Uh, now I got three to this series. Uh, I do have a couple of these. Let me show you this one real fast, real quick. Here's another police car from the Heat Fleet. Five hole. I know this comes in a. I want to say a five spoke. Also, I don't have the other version. Pretty nice. But you guys know about my police cars. Now I got three to this series. This is uh, from. Well, let's see. Ninety four. Yeah, these are all from ninety four, and I'll keep them in order. There's car number one. Which uh, Shad Juice? Uh, aren't you a? Uh, um, Fire Eater guy. I think super cool. Seven spoke. And here's the Chrome Rodzilla. Silver series. Number car number two. With the Ultra Hots. Pretty awesome. And believe it or not, look, it's got painted teeth. Can barely see it. That's pretty cool. And I got number three. I don't have number four. And in, in fact, I'd have to look in my book to tell you what it is. But how about a chrome proper chopper? That's pretty sick, right? So, yeah, so I was happy to get those three. I, of course, I'll always look for number four. I love anything chrome, you know what I mean? Like, chrome's is awesome. Here's a mail-in. Um, one of 50,000. Special edition. Van de Camp's Diora. There's the card art. And I've seen this uh, Van de Camp's uh, come out in a few different cars, you know what I mean? I couldn't tell you what all of them are, but, uh, you know, I love it just because it's a pink car. And, uh, sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. If, I don't think you'll get this one. Uh, I do have a Fishosaurus, um, um, hauler. There's the back. 
pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll work something out with you, Gogo. -Go. I mean, the card's a little tweaked a little bit, but I know how you are about uh, pink cards, but that thing is just absolutely clean. So you have to come with the heat for that one, buddy. <laughs> um, let's see what else I got here. Here's a first edition that uh, is a big deal. I think it's worth about, uh, they say 28 bucks. I think it books for Excavator. I found a guy at the flea market had four or five of these. He was letting them go for three bucks a hit. I think I bought them all and traded them out, you know. There's a first edition. And this is a Chevy 1500. Pretty nice. Race team. Pretty cool, right? Metal on metal. Gotta love it. What else I got? Oh, Marty France, you had uh, showed one of your turbo streaks. Here's a weird turbo streak I have. This one's from 95. Pretty cool. It's got some pink on it again. Pretty nice. How about a first edition Camaro? Or uh, Corvette, sorry, I mean Camaro. And I believe uh, King Hot Wheels just showed one of these. Pretty common car. I think it's only worth about seven bucks. Not, it's not a big uh, showstopper. Now, I knew uh, Mr. Dave O'Wheels showed one of these before. Or was it TPF? I'm not sure. First edition, uh, you know, f flyer. What do they call that? Radio flyer wagon. Pretty sick with the black walls. That'll get cracked one of these days and go in my black wall collection just because. Here's a first edition one of these. T-Bird. Five spokes or five dots. I know this comes in a different, uh, different one too, different wheel pattern. I get going here a little bit, guys. Here's a '98 first edition Jaguar. Um, Steven sent me a Jaguar. There's one of the ones I got. First edition, even pretty sweet. Black interior. Um, now this one um, I know comes in a few different versions. '98. I believe I have another version of this somewhere. This is the three spoke. I know my buddy Ryan has a couple versions of this uh, three window. Oh, that is no oh, thirty two Ford. I'm sorry, thought it was a three window. That's pretty cool. And they, there's even a, a, a Mexican version of this one. Uh, for all you uh, super birds, here's a Daytona Charger, first edition, ninety six. Now I know there's a more rare one of this that's worth twenty five or thirty bucks. I think this is the only the a three dollar a three dollar option so you know still awesome casting i wish they'd go back to this body style some, instead of that new one i like the i like the shopping cart wing on it but i, I don't like it so tall up there there's a 97 first edition uh chevy impala 59 impala pretty nice i know they've made that a few different ways first edition i guess i i meant to show you you know a bunch of different variations and i don't have all of them together now i know they make this guy in a few different versions. Marty France has a Taxi 1. I have a Taxi 1. And they also make it in a red. It's a Lumina van. This isn't a first edition. Although this is a 96. Pretty cool. And uh, one thing I you know, I was telling you guys about um, Hot Wheels. Not having cars with opening doors. I found three in my collection. There's a London Taxi. From 96. With the door opens on the side. Pretty cool. How about a short card XR4TI? With opening doors. I believe these are all Corgi castings. I could be wrong. Sorry I'm going kind of fast guys. But I'm running out of time. That thing's pretty cool. And last but not least. A lot of people have seen this one. 850i. BMW with opening doors. So believe it or not. Hot Wheels does have some opening doors models. They're on a blue and white card, so if you get time to look for them, check them out. That's all I got for this video, guys. Um, I am going to come back with some customs. I got uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like about seven to uh, show you tonight. So give me a little bit, and I'll be back at y'all. Catch you soon.